Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really cool glitch in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now, I'll show you on this file here. So, this glitch, um, you can do it with as little as one player, and if you really want, you can do it with four players. Now, for this glitch, you need to go to World 4, and... I'm not sure if there's anywhere else you can do it, but I think you have to do it in World 4, and I'll skip this for you. Alright, so where you want to go is the main castle in World 4, so this castle here, the big one, and you need to have ice power. Now you can either use this, or you can go to the... I like to go to 1-2, because it's an easy level and there's ice in it, so I'll show you how it's done, and then I'll show you in slow motion. So, you just, you run through the level as fast as you can until you get to, get to this point here. Now what I like to do is freeze this guy and get rid of him. Now, these Koopas, they... They spin around, or they don't spin around, they walk around this chain. Now, if you freeze them, immediately grab it and then flip the panel. It's pretty crazy what happens, so I'll demonstrate with this guy here. Oh, hang on. You have to, like, have precise timing, so let's just get this in position. Let's go with this guy here. So I'll let him get to the end. There you go. Now if you're not quick enough, it will start to lag a lot. So, for some reason it just spews coins a lot. And, see, look at that. It's starting to lag. A lot of lag. And then we can do it again. If we want. Oh, that's two. I killed the other guy, but I got two of these things going. Now, it's a weird glitch because something in the code is just saying, hey, spew coins everywhere. Now, normally what happens is when you freeze an enemy on the fence, they fall and then they shatter on the ground, right? That's what's supposed to happen. But, for some reason, it doesn't when you spin the panel immediately. Now, I'll show you how to do it in slow-mo in a sec, but first I'm going to show you some things that I've noticed. But before, I gotta, like, reduce the lag, because I can't really... It's... I mean, you can play like this, but it's just not the same. It's, like, really slow, so... And... If you leave it for too long, what happens is the game will soft lock. Now, when it soft locks, well, most people know what a soft lock is, but for those of you who don't, the game just stops working. You can't do anything at all. You can't pause. Well, some soft locks are different. In some games, you're still able to pause and stuff. Like, for example, there's a soft lock in Mario 64 where you can't do nothing except pause and rotate the camera. Now, that's an exception. Most soft locks you can't do anything at all. But when this game soft locks from this glitch, it just stops doing anything at all. Like the whole game just stops. And and you'll also notice that the music repeats on a constant loop of four or five notes. So like it'll play the same four or five notes over and over and, and you'll know when it does that because it'll sound weird. So let me just reduce this lag real quickly. Man, this lag is insane. Now you can tell that it's not quite frame by frame, but like it's like two frames a second. It's about as fast as I'd say it's going. Alright, lag is starting to reduce a little bit. Now, once you walk away from them completely, 
Like if, if you walk away from them completely, I'll show you what I noticed happens. It's pretty funny. So, it, once you get far enough away, you got no more lag. And so now that there's no lag, you can come back. And I'll show you what I noticed. It's pretty interesting. They immediately respond, so like they didn't die at all. Alright, here I'll, I'll give you a slow-mo of what it looks like. So, I'll play it in slow motion for you. Now, I've already mentioned how it can get you up to 99 lives, but it also can help you get all four players to 99 lives, not just Mario, because, I mean, sure, it's it's nice to have 99 lives as Mario, but, I mean, let's let's be honest. If, if you have this game, by the time you get 99 lives, you're probably going to be really good at it, right? I mean, there are some people that are better, but you'll probably be fairly good at the game, right? And your friends who may not have this game probably won't be too good at it, right? So they're probably going to need a lot of help getting there. But I had this crazy setup that had all four of the, the Koopa blocks spewing coins because there's four of them there in that location. And I just had all four people in the level. And I'd get one of them to go, and then I'd take one of the other players that didn't have the ice and just put them on top to collect the coin so it didn't drop the frame weight. And then I'd do the same thing until I had all four going, and it was actually really insane. And I got them up to 99 lives with only two or three times going into the level and then just letting it go until they die of time over, right? It was... Pretty cool, actually. I, I thought it was very talented to do that, but aside from the fact, it's, it's actually a pretty useful glitch, you know? So, yeah. Also, I'll give you kind of a sneak peek at the newest the video, the new video I'm working on. Now, this will be my last video for 2019, but as you can see here, I've got a lot of things in the item menu right up to 99 which is as high as it goes but that's because um well um the video i'm working on is just basically um looking through the patterns of each um mini game house the toad houses their mini games you know because if you haven't beaten the game 100 percent and you haven't done everything they just disappear once you're done with them right but once you get everything in the game, like you beat it and get all the star coins and all that, it lets you just go in and out of them as you please. So like you can go in, play the mini game, and then you go back to the menu, and then it, and you can just go right back in as many times as you want. And I thought, you know what, I should see if there's any distinctive patterns, because it would be a very helpful thing, right? And I figured any people who are probably, or may be struggling with this game and need extra items to start the levels, I thought this would be a great video to help them because I find that some of the spots in the, you know, in the, the minigame houses are actually 100% guaranteed to be good, but some of them, but like not all of them are 100% guaranteed to be bad. So it's, it's kind of like a guessing game. Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a guessing game, but it actually makes it so that you're guessing less and you're doing more, this is good, this could be bad, but, you know, play the cards right, choose the one that has the least probability. So that's going to be my new video. So that's kind of a nice sneak peek for you guys. So yeah.
Alright, so that about wraps it up for today's video. Um, I know there's been quite a delay since my last actual video, and the school projects don't count, really, even though they are ranking in a lot of views. Well, the first one is at least, because it was actually... I don't even know why it was supposed to be just some random crap, you know? Because, like, I don't know, it was just supposed to be random crap that... I put there just, and I was originally planning to delete it, but I thought, you know, people like it, so I'll keep it there, you know, even though it's kind of a dumb video, but that's alright. And then, apparently, that video, or that project, apparently that got a failing mark, so I had to redo it, which is funny, because that's pretty much what the teacher explained that I had to do for my movie, but... Guess I didn't do it right, but that's okay. I redid it, and well, we'll find out tomorrow if it's good enough. Um, but that about wraps it up for 2019. That is, I mean, man, it's the end of the decade already. Starting fresh with a new decade. So, yeah, basically, we'll see what happens in 2020 with the new terms of service for the YouTube, you know, how they got the new, um, don't remember what they're exactly called, but like, the new rules that you have to follow when updating videos, and they planning to get rid of videos that don't profit, or like, get rid of channels that don't profit and make money, so, we'll see if I make it through, but, yeah, we'll see, alright, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'll see you in 2020, maybe. Probably will. I don't, I'm not too concerned, you know. Because the whole issue that's happening is basically... It's just... They want the videos to be kid-friendly. So that there's, like, no bad stuff happening. But, like, they don't want it to be too kid-friendly. So that there's not young kids on the, on the platform. Because they have the YouTube Kids, which is meant for kids. <laughs> Because on YouTube, it collects data to advertise to you, and apparently they don't want that happening to kids under the age of 13, so 12 and under. So, I'd say my videos aren't inappropriate, because obviously there's nothing wrong with them. They're fine, right? And they're obviously not too kid-friendly, because like, they're not meant for kids. They're really meant for... 13 plus basically I mean anyone can really watch this but that's their whole issue really so why well, that at least that's what I got out of the whole thing and yeah so I hope they don't delete my channel from the those terms of service but what, what am I gonna do really if they don't I mean I wasn't profiting anyways but it was, it, was, it was just really something fun in my spare time that I wanted to do, you know? Show off some of my stuff that I can do with the games, you know? But that's alright. So, I'll see you possibly in 2020, guys. Because I'm not going to have any time to make new videos. Or at least I don't plan on having time because of the holidays, you know? Spend time with the family. But... If a very good opportunity comes up to make a video, I'll see if I can take it. So, with that all in mind, have a great holiday and Happy New Year. See you guys in 2020. And, yeah. See you in a bit.